I am the agricultural program director. And so as a part of that, I kind of uh, have some um, oversight in what goes on in the program, scheduling classes and that. Advising students is one of the things I like to do, helping them kind of figure out what courses they should be in and, and how they're going to progress through their career at Parkland College. It's being able to show and demonstrate those practices that are useful in real life. So one of my biggest thrills, I guess, is when I find out a student is going to be taking a full-time job with an ADM or um, an Anderson's elevator or a local greenhouse or something like that. So it's, uh, it's being able to see the students develop into young adults and productive adults. But through the whole sustainable thing, I've kind of relearned and had to rethink about what I'm teaching my crop science class. I thought about uh, three years ago about teaching these students how to grow corn and soybeans, primarily alfalfa and wheat as well, and crops in general, but I'm not really teaching them how to feed themselves. And that got to be kind of a concern for me because if a student leaves a crop science class, they should at least be able to know how to plant some very basic things that they can eat. And we don't eat the corn that we raise around here as corn. We eat it and everything else maybe that we're eating, but not as corn. And so I talk about how, you know, if you're planting a turnip, how deep should that turnip go in the soil uh, as opposed to a, a corn seed that's going to go in far deeper because it's a larger seed. And so what does it take to get it to germinate? And then what kind of fertility does it need? And those kinds of things. It's just a whole idea of being able to help people, I think, and, and enjoy talking about what I've done, uh, what I've learned.